We're here for the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge, which is a 3,000 kilometre race from Darwin to Adelaide. This is Sunsurf Racing's 11th time competing in the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge, and we are competing in the Cruiser class, which focuses on practicality as well as efficiency. Today is a very important day because it's our dynamic scrutineering, so this is where we do our qualifying lap to determine where we start at the race tomorrow morning. We did our lap and we qualified with a time of 2.11.8, which is really good for cruiser class cars and currently puts us near the start line compared to other cruiser class vehicles. The day's been going well so far and we are really excited to get started tomorrow morning at 8am at the Darwin State Square. I'm not very good at art or I don't speak languages and I don't play musical instruments but creating team culture is hopefully something that I'm kind of renowned for and that breeds success and, and that's, that's as important as the technology. I've worked at, at Brabham Formula One team, McLaren for 15 years and uh, ran Red Bull operationally for, for eight years and took those guys to multiple world championships. But this team is really up there. It's, it, it's a very, very similar dynamic. It's amazing how you take uh, a group of considered highly professional people and, and, and how they absolutely bat above their average. Nobody's told them they can't do things, so they go for this. And, and, and you give them a problem and they just absolutely gung-ho go for it. We couldn't do what we're doing today without the data. Even as long ago as 2019, it's amazing how the technology has advanced or actually just become available. But having AWS on board has just given us access to strategy and to telemetry, even our live streaming. AWS has been partnered with Sunswift Racing for over a year now. And the biggest focus we have been trying to achieve is helping them succeed and potentially win the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. Solar racing is really unpredictable and being able to react really quickly is very important. Being able to have our data available to both people on the ground as well as back in Sydney straight away is really important to be able to make operational decisions about how to drive. AWS helps bridge the gap to all members of the team to help them understand the data that they need regardless of their training or background. This is clearly visible in the Sunswift team from the team manager down to the battery engineer all people have the data on hand at all times in real time to help make the decisions to make this team run smoothly as possible. I group our sensors into three main sections, battery, the motors and solar. So the motors tell us how the car's performing, the battery tells us our efficiency and then the solar tells us what we're getting from the sun. So when you combine all three of those, we get a good picture of how the car's running as a whole. I mean, we couldn't dream of doing that four years ago. And just the advancement and the cooperation of AWS and their help, their support in every single way have truly given us an opportunity that we wouldn't ordinarily have. We've all worked so hard to get to this point and we've been working hard for the last four years to get here. All that information going up to the cloud and then coming back down again into the race cube at Sydney. That is a world first. The successes that we're experiencing here is absolutely in conjunction with AWS. It's the result of all these guys' hard work. I mean, it was a blank sheet of paper not that long ago. And really to see a product of all this talent that we have around, it's amazing talent. I call them youngsters, they are, and they're doing things they shouldn't be capable of. They are really accelerating their own education. And the beautiful thing about that is they don't realise they're doing it. You give them targets really high and it's up to them to find out how to do it.